Welcome to today's How To Motivational Speech. I am wishing you all an amazing week and I want to give you some guidance this week as to how to stay productive because this is a week of productivity and staying laser focused on our goals, our mission, our vision for our future and what it is that we desire in life. What are your dreams? Go after them. Don't procrastinate. Don't get lazy and don't lose hope. Stay in faith and stay aligned as well. That's what's going to keep you motivated. So let us talk about some strategies that have been working for me to stay productive during this unique time in our life in quarantine. Because I know that, you know, it's very easy for people to just chill back and take it easy and just give up on trying to make things happen. You know, just give up on making those calls that it is that has to do with your financial security or making those changes when it comes to your financial stability and security well let me tell you that you know there are miracles where you see none in those little corners that perhaps you missed you're gonna see these new opportunities so my first strategy for staying productive during this time i would have to say that is spiritual cleaning now this has a lot of significance to this First of all, godly, godliness is cleanliness. So make sure that your home is actually clean. Clean your home, clean your space where you work. If you have an office in your home, make sure that it's impeccable because this will bring in fresh new energy and positive energy. I've been doing this and I have been staying on top of my game. I've been crossing off to think, things off my to-do list like never before. I feel like during this quarantine time, I've been even more productive and efficient at what I want to achieve than ever before. It's because of this habit. I've been cleaning more conscious of this, obviously, because we need to protect our immune system. So this is also a great strategy for that. Second of all, it's all about our mindset. Staying positive, okay? Seeing the blessing in disguise, aligning with the divine, surrendering to his will, knowing that we are taken care of. This will provide inner peace for you, helping you to just go with the flow, not needing to rush around, and not needing to feel overwhelmed by this excessive, unnecessary worry when it comes to money, when it comes to your health, when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to what to do, basically, right? There are always things to do. This is a great time to also get productive with your new talents from within, getting in touch with your artistic side. And that's how you can take the most of this productive energy that's in the air okay because being that we're you know in Taurus season Taurus is all about wanting to see these tangible results in the physical because of these restrictions worldwide you may or may not see these tangible results as quite you expect them to be but you might get glimpses of this okay so this is the energy you might get glimpses of this. Obviously, it's not going to be like full-blown. You are where you want to be in life. But you are heading towards that direction in a progressively steady manner. So what you need to realize that is that you need to first let go of expectations. Second, you need to just surrender to divine timing. And third, you need to keep playing your role and putting in the hard work. Going that extra mile. Behind the scenes, you need to put in the work before it manifests into the public eye. Okay, so that's how you stay productive because you're not expecting anything. And if you get a reward, if you're blessed with this good fortune, because chances are that some of you are going to be lucky out there, then this is even better because you didn't expect it. So how much more better it's when it's a surprise because that energy is also in the weekly astrology. There are surprises in the air spontaneity is also in the air so i feel like my third tip and strategy for staying productive is to spice things up keep your life joyful by bringing in the spontaneity stay wild like stay creative change up things in your home change up the way that you do things 
embody a new habit, a new routine, something different that's gonna excite you again. That's how you stay motivated. And you should be doing this every day of the year, like throughout the whole year. Because if, chances are, if you have a long-term goal, if you keep things stagnant, it's gonna get boring and you're gonna lose that motivation that initially got you started. So in order to stay intrinsically motivated and productive, you need to switch things up to spice up your passion and ignite the fire again for your creative projects, for your business endeavors, okay, for your desires, for your future relationships when it comes to healing love. And I also feel like my strategy number four is to stay physically fit and spiritually fit and emotionally fit. So prioritize your spiritual alignment, your health and wellness, your self-care, your nurturing rituals, nourish yourself back to wholeness. Don't neglect this part of yourself and of your life because this is the most important thing right now, especially as we're entering Taurus season. Taurus is all about this earthy energy and it's all about feeling good and it's all about health and wellness. So make sure that before you start your day, how to maximize your productivity and efficiency is to make sure that you get in movement in the morning so that you, you can actually move in your blood, your circulation and fire up those brain neurons. That, that concept has been really coming on strong ever since last week. We're experiencing not only these new light code activations, meaning that we're going to be getting these new inspirations, brain genius ideas coming to the surface because we're activating these new neurons in our brain cells. And you also do this, you help this process by staying physically active, okay, and eating healthy, nourishing foods that bring wholeness to your soul, to your physical temple. Keep your physical temple clear, pure, okay, and spiritually aligned so that you can maximize this productivity. And my final tip for staying productive during this time is to have a balanced approach, okay? Balance some work and play. Don't, you know, think that you have to be all work and no play and don't obviously go the other extreme, all play and no work. Have a balanced approach. This goes for anything in life and that's how you maximize this is a key thing that you guys should do when it comes to productivity your body is efficient for only a certain number of hours this is exactly the great metaphor that i'm going to give you right now it's like when it comes to hit intensity high intensity interval training or steady cardio for example you can go steady cardio for only so long right you're gonna have to go at it for like three hours to burn the same amount of calories that you can burn in one hour of high intensity training so how do you maximize your productivity? I, what I like to do is that I fully blown, do like a full three to four up to like six hours max of work time, complete focus. And I make sure to compensate. So instead of working eight hours straight, steady, but then perhaps not as productive because you're only waiting for the day to pass, you, attack those six hours five to six hours you have more rest time to recharge but you you accomplished more in those five to six hours than you could have in those eight to ten hours of overworking so have this change in your mindset about work about efficiency in this time that you're working make it quality time over quantity time that's how you maximize productivity and efficiency and not only that, but you're getting two in one. So it's a win-win situation because your health is also gonna be better. You see, because now you have the extra time to give to your health and nourish yourself back to wholeness and wellness and recharge and go back at it again. After those, you know, two to three hours of rest time, you can go back at it again. Have this rhythm and cycle in your new work life. And this is the new transition that we're also being moved towards. We have Pluto retrograde. This weekend, I talk really intricately in my weekly astrology video. So you wanna take a look at that in my High Vibes Only Club. Make sure that you take a look at the love show tonight. It's gonna to be so fun. A lot of energy is coming through, passionate energy when it comes to love and relationships for this coming week. So I really hope that you are able to stay productive and motivated during this unique time that we're in. Make the most of it. See this as a blessing in disguise and Always see the bright side of your life and your situation that you're in, and that's gonna bring in more abundance. Like attracts like, so make sure that you're embodying this positive aura so that you can attract more positivity. Be that positive energy, be that light, be that inspiration. 
be that leader of your own life. I'm wishing you all an amazing and beautiful week for this week of April 20th to 26th of 2020. Namaste.